Hey guys, so welcome to video 3 of my Simultaneous Equations playlist. If you haven't checked out video 1 and 2 first, it might be a good idea to go back there and check them out. So in this one we're going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equation or word problems and how to spot them. So how do we spot them? You are usually given either two sentences about the same two things, variables, or maybe one sentence that tells you two things about the same two variables. Uh, so for example, this question here, if I buy two apples and three oranges, it costs me £1.15. If I buy five apples and an orange, it costs me £1.25. So here, my variables are the apples and oranges. We're told how much it costs for different amounts of the two. And we're asked to work out the price of an apple and an orange. So how do we do this? Well, our first step, we want to think of sensible letters to represent our two variables. So for apple and oranges, I think it makes quite a lot of sense to use A and O. The reason that we do that is we then want to make an equation out of each sentence. So believe it or not, the whole point of algebra is to simplify things. Nobody ever believes me when I say that. But as soon as we turn these two sentences into equations, they look a lot cleaner. So, I buy two apples and three oranges, and that costs me £1.15. So that's the same as 2A, add 3O equals £1.15. And then the same for five apples and one orange, 5A add O is £1.25. Okie dokie. So once we've done that, we then set about solving them the same way that we have in the other two videos. We've got our two equations now. So we alter one equation. So we only need to alter one equation here to get the same amount of oranges. So we multiply equation 2 by 3. And that gives us 15a at 3o is £3.75. So then we do this new equation 3. Take away equation 1 to eliminate the oranges. That tells us 13 apples would cost us £2.60. And then if we divide that by 13, an apple is going to cost us 0 0.2 of a pound or 20p. So once we know how much an apple is, we can substitute that back into one of the uh, original equations. So I've put it into equation 2 here. You can try and put it into equation 1 if you want. Make sure you get the same. So 5 lots of 20p is a pound so one pound add one orange is worth one pound 25 take the one pound away and we get an orange is 25p job done okay let's look at some more okay so i'm thinking of two numbers i multiply the first by three and add four lots of the second and i get one for my answer when i add my numbers together i get zero find the value of my numbers Okay, so with a question like this, we first of all need to work out what we're going to call our two numbers. I would just go for A and B. And then let's turn each sentence into an equation. So, I multiply my first number by 3. That's the same as 3A. And add 4 lots of the second. So, 3A add 4B is equal to 1. And that's equation 1. When I add my numbers together, I get zero. So that's A add B, and that gives me zero. So then we've got our equation two. Now we've got a choice here. Either we can alter equation two to get the same amount of A's or B's. Both are as easy as that. I would always, as a habit, I always go for the smallest multiple. So I would go for the three A. So we're going to multiply equation two by three. And that's going to give us 3a add 3b is equal to uh, 0. 3 times 0 is definitely 0. And then we're going to want to do the subtraction to cancel out the a's. So then we're going to do equation 1, take away equation 3. We could do 3, take away 1, but then we'd be playing with negative numbers, and we don't like to do that. So equation 1, take equation 3, 3a take away 3a cancels out, that's the point, 4b take away 3b would leave us with 1b, and 1 take away 0 is indeed 1. 
So B equals 1 is uh, our first part of our solution. My second number is 1. Now if we substitute that back into the second equation, we would get A plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, A equals minus 1. There's my two parts of the solution. A is minus 1 and B is 1. Jobs are good. And you can always check these by putting the numbers back in. So if we try this, if we multiply my first number uh, by 3, we'd get minus 3. Add 4 lots of the second. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 3 add 4 is 1. And if I add them together, minus 1 add 1 is indeed 0. Cool. Okie dokie, the sum of two numbers is 45 and the difference is 15. Find the numbers. So here we've only got one sentence, but this one sentence tells us two things. So again, I'm going to call my numbers A and B. So the sum, whenever you're talking about a sum, we're talking about adding. So the sum of my numbers A plus B, not sure what's going on with my equal sign there, is equal to 45. And the difference is talking about a subtraction. So we can say a minus b equals 15. Now we've got a choice here as well. Either if we add the equations together, let's call them 1 and 2 and be annoying. If we add the equations together, we'd cancel out the b's. If we subtracted the equation, we'd cancel out the a's. Uh, but it's probably simpler, I think. I'd go for the addition here. So I can do equation 1, add equation 2. So that would give me a plus a is going to give me 2a. Uh, b add minus b cancels out, that's the point. So 2a, 45 add 15 is equal to 60. I divide by 2, a is equal to 30. There's the first part of my solution. Not really sure what's going on with that zero there, I apologise. Okay, so we now know what my first number is, a is equal to 30. We substitute that into equation 1, that would then become 30, dear me, add b is equal to 45, we take away the 30, we get b is equal to 15, so there's the second part of my solution, so again we can check that, sum of my two numbers is 45, 30 add 15 is definitely 45, and the difference of my number is 15, 30 take away 15, again, is 15. Happy days. Okay, guys, we're going to go through one more. So, John buys four adult concert tickets and three child tickets for £27.50. Richie buys five adult tickets and four child tickets for £35. Work out the cost of each ticket. So, first of all here, if anybody spots my uh, little um, nod to my favourite band, well done, Richie and John. Uh, so what we want to do here, we want to work out how much each ticket costs, an adult ticket and a child ticket. So here, again, we need to turn each sentence into an equation. We need to decide what we're going to call an adult ticket and a child ticket. Now, I think it would be a good idea to call them A and C. So the first sentence we could write as 4A add 3C, and that's equal to 27 Point five. Now notice that I haven't chosen to write that in terms of pounds right here right now. I always find it's a good idea to keep your notation as simple as possible. Just remember that at the end we are working out how much these cost. So put your answer in terms of pounds at the end. Another reason is that I try to think what my pound sign is going to look like using a stylus. Uh, so that's uh, that's the first sentence put into an equation. And then Richie buys five adult tickets and four child tickets, and that costs him 35. Okay, so we got equation one, and we got equation two. There is a decimal point here, it doesn't seem to want to shine through. Okay, so we can either alter each equation to get the same amount of adult tickets or child tickets. I would go for the child, purely because three and four are smaller than four and five. Generally, it keeps things smaller if you go for the smaller multiples. So the first thing that 3 and 4 go into is 12. 
So we're going to want 12 child in each. So we're going to need to do 4 times equation 1. And that's going to give us 16a add 12c. And 4 times 27 plus 5 is 110. And for reaching them, we're going to need to multiply them by 3. So we're going to do 3 times equation 2. And then that's going to give us 15a add 12c is equal to 3 times 35 is 105. Okay, so now we've got the same amount of child tickets. So we can eliminate those. And we're going to want to do, well, I'm going to want to label my equations first, 3 and 4. And we're going to want to do equation 3. Take away equation 4 to keep things positive. So 16a take 15a would leave us with 1a. And 110 take away 105 will leave us with 5. So an adult ticket costs five pounds okay so in your answer don't forget to put the pound sign before and now that we know what an adult ticket costs we can work out what a child ticket costs so we know uh, an adult ticket is five quid so if we shove that into equation one four times five is twenty so twenty and three child tickets is twenty seven point five Take away the 20, we get 3 child tickets, it's 7.5, £7.50, and then finally, divide by the 3, now we get a child ticket is equal to £2.5, £2.50. Okay, remember as well, when it's money, put in uh, two small places. So, a child ticket is £2.50, and an adult is five pound job done guys okay i hope you found that useful don't forget to subscribe check out my other videos leave me any feedback i know i need to write work on the writing uh, so that's not necessary thanks for watching guys